it's just wonderful to see how everybody's really excited, just like we are. Berlin Science Week is my favorite event throughout the year. It promotes science in the best possible way and the event is growing more and more. At the Berlin Science Week, people from all over the world, researchers, come and discuss the great challenges we have in the world. We need to learn to listen to what society wants and how to respond to their needs, ambitions and drivers. Everyone in this world already knows that sustainability is necessary, that we need to protect the environment, that we need to protect our planet. If we want to go to a sustainable society, I think it is very important that we try to work together. We won't be able to solve the challenges of tomorrow or of today even, if we're just doing it isolated. So we really need each other and therefore we need science communication. So many people with so many different backgrounds come here. We had so many international people look at our robot exhibition and it's just a perfect venue to share our research with the public. Science outreach is becoming more and more necessary. Um, climate change, even now, some people still think that it's, it's uh, not real. So it's really important to uh, ramp up the scientific temperament in people. We had lots of people asking very specific questions, so the audience was very educated. Many of the people that don't work in science don't have really an easy access for science, so it's a, it's a really nice way from scientists to show the people what they do. But you, you pick up some ideas to get into deeper after if you want to. <laughs> There's no doubt that science is the bridge between peoples. We will be back next year and we're very much looking forward to that. Why not I mean bringing art, science and an international understanding together? We cannot underestimate how art uh, brings people together. And today we have the art fair. I think it's very important to combine art and science to open each other's minds to create new ways of understanding. And we all gather here in order to show how do we uh, approach science and art uh, from a very personal perspective. Public outreach is most important. We have more than 80 speakers from science and about 500 guests to listen. So I think it's important to find ways to translate this abstract science in, in different forms and art has, has so many tools and options to do that. It's about giving an impression of what is actually going on at the university, in the lab, and we try to translate this to sound. So this performance is uh, inspired by the photonics of the diatoms and we are here trying to upscale their nanostructures to a visible scale in ice sculptures. The humans built these structures to build quantum computers and we found that these structures also exist in nature. The most surprising thing is that we are not able, even on such a large scale, to match the beauty of the natural structure. There are analogies between art and science, besides you know, the fact that we can transform our waves in sounds. The sounds is a way to uh, opening maybe new windows into the universe. At this point we could get a bit philosophical, but unfortunately I studied biochemistry and now <laughs> so I just want to 
teach you a bit how we convert energy in our body during raving. <laughs> can't avoid it anymore. If you're interested in science, if you're doing science, you have to be there. <laughs> 